Hello, I'm Manisha from Ananda Permaculture Project and I'm back with what may be the last video of this series titled Building with Lime. Now, any construction material that you use on your site should be evaluated for its pros as well as its cons. So Malvika and I decided that we should try to study the limitations of lime and share those with you. I think the biggest limitation of lime is the lack of research, lack of lack of understanding of this material really, lack of vocabulary even to talk about this material, to describe its behavior. Right now, we borrow all our parameters from cement and we lay it on lime and say, what does lime give us? Well, nothing much. But that's an unfair, unfair way to judge this material. And also in this process, we lose out on what this material has to offer. So I feel like we have 7,000 years of collective built knowledge. And all of that is in some ways just kind of not deeply understood because we don't have the vocabulary for it anymore. I think we are yet to discover how far we can take this material because we haven't used the best of our innovation and the best of our industrial know-how to really push the envelope with this material. The lack of vocabulary, data, etc. around Lyme didn't bother us so much because we were already doing many experimentative things like even building with rammed earth. And we had a lot of conviction that this material would stand the test of time and would be the right material for us. So we decided to just go ahead with it and create our own set of vocabulary and our own set of language. I think the biggest limitation is supply chain. Supply chain can be a genuine issue, especially to find high quality lime. We did look around in our area and managed to find one lime supplier to buy basic quick lime from, you know, what's also known as fat lime. But for the rest of the mixes, which were especially the finishing mix mixes of marble dust and lime, we bought from M Lime and that really helped us to um, actually even think of using this material as part of our sustainable house project. The other big limitation is the lack of, again, standardization when it comes to site practice. Any site contractor or house builder has to be creating their own SOP where uh, line is concerned before it becomes like this universal process that everybody becomes familiar with. And we did exactly the same thing. We had a team of people training us, but then once we had understood the process, we literally detailed it out, documented it, wrote it down, and make sure that everybody on the site knew what the SOP was. We are yet to figure out compatible materials, for example, what steel is to cement. We are still trying to find, break through that entire world of engineering that is, I believe, possible, but at the moment seems like a very distant future. The lack of compatible materials to use with lime is probably the biggest limitation that we face and the only one that we could not overcome. And that is why wherever we had to use steel in our house, we ended up using cement. The little bit of cement that we have used in our sustainable house is in the beams and the pillars, which could not be put together with lime mortar. Not having an ecosystem of skilled workers and contractors and artisan teams who can take on these projects. M Lime sent us a team of craftsmen uh, led by Ramesh Ji a very experienced artisan from uh, Rajasthan who knew how to do work with lime. And then he did a technology transfer of sorts by training us and of course the team. But a lot of it really dependent on uh, us remembering the processes and then reminding our, our own artisans about it, you know, well into the project. But uh, we are happy that, you know, we could do a full technology transfer with some hand holding from uh, Malvika from time to time. And today we have actually created a bunch of artisans who know this technique in our area, which probably didn't exist earlier. The initial strengths, initial setting times tend to be a bit longer. And this I'm talking about the first one week, the first two weeks, the first four weeks. However, in those first few weeks, often we get we get panicked phone calls from customers 
and oh what you know why, why are we not seeing what we're seeing with cement so i think that's more a matter of uh, switching our expectations but that is definitely a perceived limitation lime does take longer to set and there is always a temptation to use cement because like i like to say cement is the fast food of the construction industry but lime is the healthier option the way we overcame this limitation of uh, you know longer setting times is to just plan your work in such a way that um, you actually end up uh, doing other processes in parallel and don't have to wait for the line to set before you can move into the house so in our case actually the woodwork was the bottleneck and we uh, moved into the house and the woodwork was still continuing for a few months after but the line work had all been completed in time and was ready for us to move in so you see we could handle five of the six limitations and overcome them and i'm sure that with time some engineering teams will also figure out what is a compatible material to be used uh, with lime uh, to substitute for uh, something like uh, steel i believe uh, bamboo is one such material which is being actively evaluated Uh, but uh, you i look forward to uh, seeing some of you you know break that frontier and actually uh, manage to make uh, your building without any steel and any cement whatsoever so thank you very much for being with us on this journey of understanding how we can build with lime i really hope that you've enjoyed this series and uh, if you think other people will benefit from it do share the link of the entire playlist called building with lime with them All the best for your project and do leave any questions or queries that you may have in the comments section below. Bye bye.